In this video, I will teach you how to make a calculator for finding a boundary from a known area. This is the second objective when dealing with normal distributions. We've already learned how to find areas when we know a boundary. We can find an area which represents a probability under the bell curve. Now we'll be going inversely to that. And so we'll begin, as usual, by entering a mean and a standard deviation. We'll begin just assuming we're dealing with the standard normal distribution. And let's say we have a left area of 0 0.05. The boundary that would be associated with that can be found by using norm.inverse, INV. Norm.inv, norm.inv, and then we need to enter the probability, and this must be a probability to the left of the boundary you're looking for. So that's why we have it specifically saying left area. And I've stored my left area in C5. I could click on it if it wasn't covered up right now, but I'm just gonna type it in. C5, the mean stored here, and the standard deviation stored here. So press enter. So now it gives me the boundary, which I know is right because this is a special z-score three places. And so I know that's right, so this seems to be working well. Now what if we had a problem like this one that says find the boundary, so we're looking for x and we're given this probability. So that is a probability, an area to the left, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the mean of 100, the standard deviation of 15, Okay, and I'm getting that from this. It says that x is normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. And the area to the left of that boundary that I'm looking for is 0.9288. So this should be in, um, these were for IQ scores. So that would be an IQ score of 122. All right, now, what about this one down here? How would you find x now? still a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. I have an area of 0.93, but it's on the right of this x value that I'm looking for. So I need to do 1 minus 0.93 so that I'll be getting the area on the left here, which would be 0 0.07. And then I'll get my boundary of 77.863 which makes sense because that would be less than the mean of 100. So when doing this, just make sure that your answer makes sense. Notice that I was careful to check that my x boundary that I found, which looks like it's to the left of the mean, so it should be less than 100. Likewise, for my first example, 0.9288 on the left gave me an IQ score of 122, and that should be to the right of the mean, so greater than 100, and that made sense too. Now, what about a question like this? Find the 95th percentile of IQ scores with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. Okay, so so far we have the mean of 100, standard deviation of 15. It says find the 95th percentile. Well remember a percentile is an actual divider and that would be your x score that you're looking for. The 95th percentile divides the lower 95 percent. So then my left area should be 0.95 and then I would get the answer of 124.673. So about an IQ score of about 125 is the dividing line between 95% of the population and the upper 5%. So that would mean that 95% of the population have an IQ score less than 125, and 5% of the population has an IQ score greater than 125. 